In this video, I want to share with you my top five apps that I use on a daily basis to promote my content across social media. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome back to my channel. For a few months now, I've been focusing on creating and sharing my content across social media. I've reduced my full-time job to only three days a week and I wanted to see if I could really make it in the content creator world. However, with money being reduced, I set myself a target of only using free versions of apps where possible or apps that I already paid for in other programs and subscriptions. More about that later on. OK, then. So with all that in mind, I thought I would share with you all what I use and why I use them. But remember, I needed to make them as free as possible and they had to support my workflow. And so they didn't hinder me as I was sharing the content. Oh, and if you stay tuned right to the end of the video, there's a bonus feature where I tell you about the two apps that I'm currently looking into to see if they might actually make the cut for the next top five apps. So first up, my beloved Trello. Now, Trello is something that I found from watching another YouTuber talking about sharing content across social media. And I must say, I probably don't think I could live without it now. So I actually use Trello to store my cards and ideas on, although my ideas might be moving to something else pretty soon. More about that at the end of the video. So on each of the cards, I provide everything that I need to publish that content. So title, description, links, even hashtag, full of emojis, of course. The cards can be placed onto a calendar and I do this at the end of a month or the start of the month so I can have my full schedule for the month all sorted. As well as all the content, they also have a publishing date and those are set to send me a notification on my mobile devices when the cards need to be published. So, and then when they do, I just cut and paste the content into whatever social media app I want to share it with. Trello is free, yeah, free. Uh, I think you can have limited number of boards, but I only need one. And it actually includes the calendar power up in free. You, you don't have to pay for that. Those are other, there's other um, power ups, but the calendar one for me is the best. And what's even better is that you can set simple rules. So when I have a rule that when a card is created, it's assigned to me and I start to watch it, which means that it will send me the mobile um, notification when it's reached its publishing date. OK, if you would like to see more about how I use Trello in a little bit more detail, then I've put a link down in the show notes or somewhere around here. And yeah, if you like it, then let me know. Next up, Buffer. Now, Buffer is an app that allows you to add content that you can then schedule in for the future. Or you can add content straight away or and then just add it to a queue of posts. Um, I've used the paid version before. I loved it. And that even allowed me to post stories to Instagram as well. But since the cutback, I am now on the free version. A shame, but these are the cuts we have to make. So just to let you know, I did try later at one point. Um, that has the opportunity to um, load up 
and schedule more posts than the free version of Buffer does. But I like to keep all my images in iPhoto so I can access them across my mobile devices. And I found that it was an extra step having to upload them to later in order to schedule my point posts. Anyway, uh, back to Buffer. So Buffer allows me to load up content um, so that I can share both on Instagram and Twitter. And you can do this the if you just want to post something straight away, or you can add it. And then once you've added your schedule, you can just say add to queue and then it will immediately um, add it to the queue. So there's lots of posts set up. Um, you can use it on an app, but there's also a browser um, version of it as well. So really allows me to do it on the go or when I'm sat at my computer. And now I think the only limited um, factor is that I think you can only schedule 10 posts um, on the free plan, I think. But I look at it in the sense that, OK, then 10 is quite a lot. And it actually means that I have to keep up to date with it and keep thinking, what do I want to publish next? And yeah, and just to let you know, when I've published things on um, Instagram, um, Trello moves it to a new column, which I then sit down at some point and schedule up into Buffer. Yeah. So thank you, Buffer. You're brilliant. So between Buffer and Trello, that sort of like helps me schedule and upload posts, which is fantastic. So the next few are some that help with that, um, not the scheduling, but actually the creation of the post. And first up is Caption Writer. Now, there are plenty of other options out there for Caption Writer, and you can have a look at them and then um, decide which one is best for you. But what Caption Writer allows me to do is put spaces and hard returns in the description ready for Instagram. Now, just to let you know, when I'm uploading it from Trello and Buffer, you can do these within the cards or within the app. So Caption Writer is something that I use when I suddenly capture something and think, oh, I want to post it. So you can actually do this really quickly. You can type in what you want, copy it, and then go straight across to your Instagram post and just paste it in. Now, one word of warning here. Be careful what you press. There is a paid version for this app and you get frequently messages pop up to try to tempt you or say, do you want to trial, etc. I always go for the limited option. Um, so, yeah, look before you press. So before we go on to apps four and five, I'd just like to remind you that if you are finding this video or any of my content useful, entertaining or informative, then please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I produce Instagram content in the form of posts and reels every Thursday and Tuesday, and many of it finds its way onto YouTube in my shorts collection. Hey, if you can support me, thank you very much. OK, on with four and five. OK, I'm going to stick with Instagram at the moment. Apparently, the young and trendy just call it Insta now. Um, anyway, I have found there's another app that I found myself using more and more to be a little bit more creative um, with my posts and videos. So Cut Story is an app that allows you to create videos, sideshows for slideshows, sorry, for either Instagram or TikTok. I've never ventured onto TikTok, so not too sure whether or not I would like that platform or not. In fact, within Cut Story, there's plenty of things you can do, but I like I use it to create to take existing videos or images and make them a little bit more creative and a little bit more uh, dynamic. So my favorite part of Cut Story is the templates. So 
this allows you to take an existing sound bite or video or anything, um, especially for my podcast, and make it a little bit more eye-catching. Um, it's easy to use once you get used to the workflow, and I find it perfect for those moments when I just want to make something a little bit more eye-catching. Um, I do spend a lot of time fiddling around with things, so uh, yeah, be warned, it's not something that I find that I can quickly do. I like to make it look just right. As always, it's free, but there is a paid option. So do be careful. And yes, all the templates that I use are free, but probably the more interesting and best ones you need to pay for. Okay, so the final app, app number five, and this I do pay for. And I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. So the app that I'm using actually comes as part of my Adobe Creative um, subscription. That's why I use Photoshop and Premiere Pro and After Effects, etc. And with that comes an app that used to be called Spark, um, but has recently been rebranded to the Adobe Creative Cloud Express. I think I preferred Spark. Anyway, the app can be used in the web browser or mobile devices, and it provides you with a number of templates, icons, backgrounds, text, everything. And you can sort of like create new Instagram stories, new posts, new flyers, anything that you want um, in that app, and then save it and download it. Now, just to let you know, before I move to Spark or Creative cloud express i used to use canva which is just as good um i'm not sure what their pro version is like but i used it a lot when it was a free version and then i suddenly realized that i was getting uh, a service via spark that was actually paid for so rather than um putting more content into Canva or using the pro version, I just switched to Spark. So it doesn't really matter what you're using, Spark or Canva. It's perfect for creating thumbnails, post stories, flyers, videos, the list goes on. And there's lots of content in there from backgrounds, icons, you name it. So whenever I want to create something a little bit different, then I reach for either Spark or Cut Story. And yeah, and that's what I gravitate towards. So yeah, I do pay for it, but it's part of my subscription to Adobe. And that's it. Oh no, wait, I said that I would give you a little bit extra if you got to this far in the video. So what are those other two apps that I'm looking for to see whether or not they'll make my next top five apps? Well, are, they are something known as Notion and um, Concept. Now, more about these in another video um, once I've got to grips with them. Notion is hopefully going to help me support my ideas and staying consistent and creating scripts and thumbnails, etc. And there's like a, a visual database of every all the content I do. And Concept is an unlimited mind mapping program. So what I mean by unlimited is that, you know, you started, then you can just zoom out and out and out. Your, your page is unlimited in size. And yeah, I thought I might be using those to record ideas or <clears throat> big goals or campaigns or things like that. And, you know, if you use either of those two, then do let me know in the comments below and I'll let you know later whether or not they've made it into the Inwills workflow. And that's it. My top five apps that I use for creating and sharing my content on social media and all of them virtually free. OK, now I just have to say at this point that I'm not a high flying social media content creator or sharer, but these apps have supported me to be both consistent and creative. And remember, you don't need a lot of money in order to achieve consistency, just determination, motivation and well, dedication. 
If you would like to know any more about the apps that I use, then do let me know in the comments below. I hope this video has helped you get organized and to become productive. Stay safe, stay healthy, but most importantly, stay positive. And I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.